Last summer, I got to visit Mesa Verde National Park. Mesa Verde is situated in the high desert of southwest Colorado, an area that is greatly affected by climate change. The Parks and Peril Report, which was released by the Rocky Mountain Climate Organization and the National Resources Defense Council, listed Mesa Verde as the one of the 25 National Park Service sites most at peril from climate change. A UNESCO report said that the park is one of the most at-risk World Heritage sites across the globe. But why is this? Temperature rise has a huge impact on the plant and animal communities all over the world, especially in Mesa Verde. The temperature in the area is already rising, and as climate change progresses, the rate of warming could increase even more. As temperatures rise, plants and animals as habitats will not be suitable anymore, so many will not survive and whole species could suffer. These high temperatures and long, dry summers are also making fires in the park more frequent, larger, and more ferocious, as well as lengthening the annual fire season. While fires can be good because they burn the undergrowth and clear up areas, if they become too frequent, many plants never have a chance to regrow. Exactly this is happening in Mesa Verde, where the old growth pinon juniper woodlands have not been able to recover from the many fires. This is causing large sections of the park to convert from woodlands to grasslands, which is disastrous for the local ecosystems. This heat will also cause a loss of water, ice, and snow. In Mesa Verde, among other places, rain and snow are becoming less and less common as climate change progresses. A recent National Park Service study found that the hot and dry conditions that have persisted in recent years in the park are beyond the historical records of climate fluxes. This is terrible because this water is vital for the many ecosystems of the park. Being in the high desert that is the Colorado Plateau, this area needs as much water as it can get. Much of this water comes from the thunderstorms that move in from the mountains. With these storms at a decline, many areas of the park could suffer. Another major source of water for the park comes from the snowy winters, which are also rapidly declining. Winter snow is vital for the ecosystems of the area, and if there's less snow, many plants and animals will suffer. Snow is incredibly important as it reflects sunlight, keeping the area cooler. The less snow there is, the less cooling happens, which in turn makes it snow less. This cycle could lead to disastrous problems here and around the world. Extreme weather will also become a lot more common in the park, as the freak downpours and floods will ravage the remaining plant communities. While the amount and the size of the storms will decline with the progression of climate change, extreme rain and thunderstorms that would historically break records will occur much more often. Huge floods will damage the plants beyond repair and drown out any remaining wildlife. Additionally, these storms could severely speed up the degradation of the wonderful Puebloan ruins and cliff dwellings. Many animals in the area are at risk of declining into extirpation as climate change progresses. Animals of all sorts are struggling because of the many climate change induced changes, including the threatened Mexican spotted owl, which can no longer be found in the park. Additionally, two species of squirrels and a songbird species are gone from the park. With the loss of these animals, from owls to butterflies to lizards, whole ecosystems will be destroyed and the remaining plants and animals will have to leave or die. There has also been increased tree death across the Colorado Plateau, and in Mesa Verde, as many as 90% of the piñon pines have died from bark beetles and other drought-related factors. Additionally, the woodlands of the park are struggling to recover from the many fires, as I spoke of earlier. There are many more problems facing this park, from air pollution to invasive species to littering, and we have to do what we can to stop them. While Mesa Verde National Park is one place that is greatly affected by climate change, everywhere will feel its effects. We have to take action while we still can and we must solve this crisis.